this is Jana Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography and today I'm working on Adobe Camera Raw and talking basically about or specifically about the tone curve but before we get started I always like to show you my website SullivanJPhotography.com gets you to my main website and if you go to the tips and lessons area you can get all of these tutorials starting from the very beginning of Adobe Camera Raw plus some fun ones on Nick software and some other Photoshop tutorials. Okay so let's get started. Here is an image that I shot over in uh, Arizona. It's the Painted Desert. It was not the golden hour. It was not a perfect storm. It was very bland, but it was a great day, and I wanted to make sure that I remember this. And of course, I just can't have an image like this. So I ended up doing uh, three images, verticals, and I stitched them together. And I'm going to process them, process them in Adobe Camera Raw. So this is actually the third video and if you haven't seen the others then definitely check out my blog and you can start from the beginning of opening and to the basics and now we're here in the tone curve. So what is a tone curve? Toned is the range of lights, lights to darks. Okay and this is this is also a histogram up here and the histogram tells you the information that talks or the information within this image right here. So these are the brightest areas of my image, these are the midtones of my image, and these are the darks of the shadows of my image. Now as you can see this image is light and you can see where it's larger. The histogram is higher up in here because this is where I have the more, more of the information on the highlight area. So this is where you're going to change everything up if you want to. Remember when you're photographing all it is is the values of RGB red, green, blue. Red, green, red, green, blue are the lights of an image. It's, it's actually light and so if you I don't want to go into too too much detail but just those three colors make all the spectrums that we see and that's how you change it here okay uh, well one of the ways I guess so again down in here most of my image is in the highlight area so this highlight right here when you this point from this point is the highlights where you would adjust them this point to this point are the lights of my image. This point to this point are the darks of my image and from here which is zero to here are the shadows. So if I want to adjust my lights, increase them, look at the histogram, this increases and this increases. If I want to go down to my darks and pop them down then it will adjust the dark, mainly the dark areas. The parametric works within um, a wide range of pixels. These are all the pixel information that's given to the um, Adobe Camera Raw from your actual camera, from the shot, from the raw image. If you want to adjust them a little bit more detailed in the parametric, you can go ahead and pop this over to the right a little bit. See how it's moving it? And it's only working more in this range. So if I want to play with this a little bit more, then uh, you can. You can adjust these little guys in here and it will move the information from here to here is my highlights and from here to here now are my lights and from this range to this range it has worked with the shadow area I mean the darks area I'm sorry the shadows is down to the left look at see down in here that's the shadow area so by moving these and these you can adjust your image from 
here, which is the main information, which is a straight line. This straight line means you have not done anything to the actual pixels. But I'm going to change my colors. I'm going to bring them down. And then I'm going to bring it up a little bit. And it will change your contrast. And the contrast is actually the lights and the darks and how it changes your colors and makes it pops a little bit more by changing those lights and darks and uh, making them, it may, you know, right here in the blue areas, you can see that I've darkened that area. So it's making a little bit more contrasty where you really can tell is in the orange area. So that is one way of changing your tone curve, okay? the range of your values in the image. So let's go ahead and reset this and talk about the point. Now again to get the reset you just go to Option Alt and you can click on this and it'll change your change it back to zeros. So here's the point. The point is a more detailed change. Again here is my line from zero from 255 is the pure whites, I'm sorry, and zero is the blacks, okay? But this is, all these numbers in here is giving me the range of the information that's in my uh, image. So right in here, you can see that these are the dark areas. This is the black areas. But before I get into more details, but let's show you some of the presets. They've already done a medium contrast and a strong contrast that, that you know they've already done it for you and they'll move it around by the information that they've done here so you could tell that it's already changing up the contrast a little bit here and this is done through the RGB channel red green blue let's go back to linear and let's just show you quickly down here these are the reds of the um, image and uh, you could play with these in a little just a little bit more detail but I want to get through this video quickly you can see as I change this going up it adds some more red and decreases the red um, as you play with these and you can also do the green and the blue the same way okay so you can get into more details of where you want to change your blues do you want to change them only in the dark areas or you know that you know you want to say you want to decrease your blues or you want to increase your blues you can also change you know your tone that way okay so that's another way but uh, to really get into detail um, what another good tool to have to pay attention to is if you click on the command and the command apple this gives you a little pointer and look on oh let's go back to the RGB so you can see it better so here are again the lights to the darks so if I have the pointer here you can see to the right as I move it it changes and it's telling me each air location of where the uh, highlight is or the tone is so if I want to click on push down on that that right there has given me a point of the exact pixel information of my uh, of where I push down so that is the light area so let's go down to the shadows if I click down in here as you can see to the right look at the histogram it's giving me the information there so there's my darks I just made a point so if I want to get in the mid-range you know then click on there so you can then you can always get to it as you see the little X and then you can make your changes if you want you want to do the typical S curves but of course you could go into more details with this this is really a powerful tool so you could play with this and get into detail on changing up your tones in the actual point area okay so that's pretty much it um, it's the basics of playing with your tone if you, any of these are like bugging you say if it's like funky and you've really messed something up and you're like oh I can't stand it you can also you can go like I said go down to this reset down here by clicking the option alt or you could just pull this guys off and it will get it will uh, take it off or say if you don't even you just want to start a new point just click on it and start playing with it there okay so this area right in here the tone curve can really dramatically change your image by changing the lights to the darks and you are doing it on your own to give your image 
more contrast or less contrast. Okay, so again, this was before, and we made it pop by using the tone curve. All right, my next tutorial will be on sharpening, so I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Thank you.